This is Christina Schuler with your News in 90. The medical examiner's office in Gainesville is getting a major upgrade. Staff will relocate to a new facility at the end of the year. A new $2.3 million facility on the southwest side of town will be twice the size of the old downtown building. The new building will include a fully equipped morgue, a large refrigeration system capable of holding 20 bodies instead of 10, a backup power generator, and a drive-in vehicle port. The medical examiner's office serves Alachua County and six other counties. The new building is expected to be finished by October 1st. The Michigan State University president has resigned after former employee Dr. Larry Nassar was sentenced for molesting his patients. Lou Anna Simon's resignation came hours after Larry Nassar was sent to jail. He pleaded guilty to repeated sexual assaults against gymnasts in the Michigan State and USA gymnastics programs. The NCAA and Michigan Attorney General is investigating to see if the university violated any rules. Reports say the school failed to take action after multiple gymnasts reported Nassar's misconduct to the school. Michigan Representative Tom Leonard applauded Simon's decision to step down, saying she is doing the right thing. A train derailment in northern Italy has left three people dead and more than a dozen injured. The commuter train was carrying around 250 passengers when it derailed near Milan. Police are actively investigating the crash. Victims were carried out of the train window on a stretcher. Police say an investigation has been opened with railway police interrogating the train driver. Evidence points at collapse of the tracks or a problem with a track switch. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.